away. Yeah. Kiki, do you love me? What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rose's World. I'm your guy, as always, Rose. I'm here to bring you today Dolce and Gabbana's The One. Now, I know many of you already have this one, all right, and you probably already have some thoughts on it. But for the newcomers, for the guys who don't, this right here is like a holy grail. This is a staple in a lot of people's arsenal. When you spray this on, you will immediately become the king. You are the goat, okay? You are the fucking one. Now, this is not a pay-per-view or anything like that. This is simply my own opinion on this, all right? So any statements are completely my own. You can definitely go ahead and try it. But with that being said, let's get down to business. I don't have a knife. Somebody wanna fucking donate me a knife? Like a little like a military knife? You know what, actually I don't need it. Okay. I'll still take it though, whatever. Kobe, is that okay since he retired? Can I still say that? We got to change to a new player. Y'all let me know. All right, so Dolce & Gabbana is the one. Black box, silver lettering, engraved, right? Um, 100 ml, nothing crazy. I had this cologne for like mad long, like uh, like two months, and I just never opened it. I literally was waiting on you guys, all right? Waiting for you guys to fucking show up. Now that you're here, we're gonna go over it. So, fresh out the box, all right, yeah cares about that right they don't give a shit about the box whatever first thing i notice is that the fucking top is like weird it like flip flops on right look at that i don't know whatever figured it out anyway i wanted to wait more for like winter fall time reason being is that this fragrance is going to be more for that season i didn't want to open it now and have you guys uh you know thinking about getting it for the wrong season but since we are pretty much like mid-august or almost mid-august we can start thinking about getting it because next month i know everybody's excited they get to fucking use a lot of their fall and winter colognes like i have a lot of stuff that i like to use for like that season because i'm more of like a like a stronger scent person whatever anyway all right so it's a nice design I like how it looks, kind of like orange-ish or brown. I'm gonna tell you guys what's in this one. One moment. So in the top note, you have coriander, basil, and grapefruit. In the middle note, you're gonna have ginger, orange blossom, and cardamom, and then on the nice dry down, you're gonna have tobacco, central amber, and cedar. All nice notes, well blended together. To be honest, this is like, this is kind of gonna be like, a new review for me since, since I bought it like I don't really remember exactly how it smelled all I remember is that like I did like it when I had got it so I'm about like four pumps distribution is kind of nice it has a nice opening to it this is actually gonna be the scent that I'm gonna wear for today too since I'm not really going anywhere it's air conditioned in here so controlled environment I don't have to worry about overwhelming anybody so all right so that's it gonna be just me in here all right i don't have to worry about offending anybody today maybe i'm just gonna take over my whole house with this thing i've got i got this one from amazon um i probably paid i think around like i believe i paid around like 80 bucks maybe 60 to 80 bucks for this i don't quite fully remember but that's the price point for this that you can expect to pay for this type of uh, fragrance now this is an edp so it will last a little bit longer a lot of the guys or a lot of people who did a fragrance review on this one uh, claim that they do have um, well not this one the the EDT uh, claim that there was a lot of longevity problems that I don't know as of right now because this is the first time I'm going to be wearing it so I can definitely let you know if you would like we can put it down in the comments and I'll let you know uh, more about like the compliment factor I'll let you guys know about the siage I'll let you guys know about just the performance in general all right let you know exactly you know what I think of it what other people thought of it again this is uh Dolce & Gabbana is the one it does have like I can smell the orange blossom note in it, like it, it smells like, alright, and I also do get like a, like a small whiff of the, uh, the tobacco so far. But this is something that I believe that you can wear 
but just not like to the office. This is good for like a date night or going out for the night. But also, it main, more importantly, it's gonna be more for cooler weather. You don't wanna wear this as of right now. So it's gonna be too strong, probably overpowering. Might offend somebody. It might not, but in my opinion, this is not one that you're gonna be wanna be wearing during the summertime. I would say wait until fall. Anyway, what are you guys wearing today? Uh, what did you just pick up? Let me know. What do you guys think about the one EDP? Um, let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I've been blessed.